All right, so let's uh, bring in our new top HDA into Unity and cook out a terrain with Asset Link and see what happens. All right, so let's go and get our new PDG landscape HDA here. So I'm just going to copy it and paste it over the old one because this doesn't this old one doesn't have all the new latest and greatest. All right, so let's go back up into Unity over here and we're going to select the PDG landscape HDA and do a rebuild asset. Cool. So you can see now we have the erosion time. Awesome. And I usually like to put those guys on collapsible, but tabs are fine for now. All right. So then you want to go to the PDG link and you want to hit reset and then refresh. And basically that will load up all of the new stuff. And look at that. I forgot to name the last node. That's the, the texturing one. And in fact, that's the one I want to use. So with that selected, I want to select that guy and I want to auto load the results. So whatever comes out of this particular node is going to be loaded into Unity here. Okay. Meaning if you were to go and check on auto load results for all these guys, it would load in the BGO file or the terrain for each one of those steps. And I only want the result out of this last one here. Okay, cool. So with that, we should be good to go. Um, at this point, all I, all I need to do is hit cook output and we should be good. Let's do it. So while this is cooking, you can see that currently it's telling us one HDA processor, or one top node is cooking and two are waiting. So that means it's working on the train generator. When that's finished cooking, you'll see another one is cooking, which will be the erosion. And basically they'll just basically go in order there. And you'll notice that we get this three failed. That's because in our PDG link, I didn't actually uh, set the working directory appropriately. So I need to set this to the project. That's why I can't basically find the HDAs. All right. So let's go and assign this guy. So we're going to say, uh, not there. We want to go to there. All right. So that's our working directory. And that's weird that it didn't actually put it in there. Huh. Let's try that one more time. Let's go current projects. There we go. I don't know what happened there. Cool. Yeah. So now that's the proper working directory. So that's why that failed. So all we need to do is say dirty all, and then we should cook the output again and it'll start cooking again. So let's see if we get through this time. And in fact we did. So we just generated the terrain. Now we're eroding it and the texturing is waiting. So I'm going to be right back once this is finished cooking. It should only take a minute and a half, maybe about two minutes for this terrain. So I'll be right back. And there we go. We have a 4K terrain. Now, I should explain a couple things here. So if we go into the PDG outputs right here, all right? So this is basically where uh, PDG is sending, or the asset link is sending all the resulting geometry from PDG into this output game object. Now this is created dynamically for you uh, to keep everything nice and clean. All right. Keeps it nice and organized so you can see where all your stuff is. All right. So if you dive all the way down in there, you'll see that this is composed of all those different pipe fields and they're all blended perfectly. The layers are all blended perfectly. They all have their own terrain data. And so it's working great. So if we were to actually click on this, it's a good time to mention where all this stuff goes. So you can see where all the inside of the Houdini engine asset cache this is where all of that terrain data is going. So you have a terrain data file per tile here. But yeah, there we go. So uh, one other thing I wanted to note, I noticed um, when I was messing with the shader right off the bat, when I first was testing out the latest 2019 and the universal render pipeline, I actually had to toggle this enable height based blend on and off. And that actually made or forced, I should say, the um, instancing, the draw instancing. Let me actually go and select this here. It actually fully enabled this draw instance because right off the bat when I was messing with it, it came out really blurry and now it seems to be fine. And so all I did is I just went in and just toggled this guy. So I'm still getting used to the universal render pipeline too um, and the, the custom shaders that come with it. And so I'm still learning, but I just wanted to, to point that out. So yeah, there we go. We now have a full terrain. This is huge too. Like if we were to go, let's go down here and make something like a capsule. Uh, let's do a capsule here. 
very tiny. Yeah, super tiny. So I just want to give some, you know, reference to how big this terrain is. There we go. Oh, I still missed it. Get this all the way up here. Where are you? Let's just reset it. And then lift it. Oh, there we go. Cool. So yeah, super huge terrain. Awesome. So now at this point, you know, with your PDG graph, you can go and start adding roads and stuff. So what I'm going to do, this is the, the, the free section basically of this course. And really, I wanted to make sure that everyone who had taken the previous uh, PDG course that's free up on the SetFX website um, got to see how the, the latest stuff in uh, Unity 2019 and the latest PDG work, uh, because a lot of things have changed when it comes to terrains and how they work uh, in both applications. So um, that's why I wanted to make this first section free for everyone. So moving forward now, uh, in the next sections, we're going to start talking about you know foliage and roads and, uh, you know, bridges and stuff like that so um, lots of plans I really want to make this more kind of an evolving course because PDG is so new so um, definitely let me know if you have any specific requests or things that you really want to know about uh, when it comes to PDG the Houdini engine and Houdini or you know unity 2019 stuff I'll be more than happy to answer your questions as best I can uh, there are things that are I'm still learning too because uh, the software is updating like crazy f these days all right so I'm gonna leave you guys there and we are going to do a quick review of all the core concepts that we covered. Thanks so much.